All right, what's good everybody out there in YouTube land? It's your boy DJ Too Legit. And today I'm going to talk about a problem that a lot of DJs have, including myself, which is when you are doing a, a large event like a wedding in a big ballroom or something, and during cocktail hour and dinner, you're playing low cocktail music and the people are doing speeches or whatever, and you're playing the music low. But the problem is the people in the back of the room can't really hear. And you don't want to turn the sound up too loud because then you're going to blow out the people that's right up front close to the dance floor. So the solution that I've come up with is to wirelessly transmit a signal in the back of the room. Just put a speaker in the back, one or two speakers. One, I think, should be sufficient depending on what kind of speaker you use. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the wireless solution that I have settled on, which is the Sennheiser Wireless G4 Twin System. So yeah, here it is right here. I just got this here like a week ago. The Sennheiser Evolution Wireless G4 Twin Monitoring Set for Professional Live Sound. You get two receivers and one transmitter. And it's actually an inner ear system, but you can also use this to transmit your music wirelessly to a remote speaker. Okay, so some of you may wonder, how are we going to connect these wireless receivers to the speakers? Well, they send you a special cable right here. On one side, it has a male XLR, and on the other side, it has a male 1 8 inch right there. And what you do, you just stick that right in this little hole right there. Stick that right in there, and then put the other end directly into your speaker, and then that's how you connect it. All right, let's go ahead and test these boys in action. I already have my transmitter right here. I got it connected to the back of my controller, which is the DDJ 800. I just got it coming out of one of the outputs there, going right into the back of the transmitter. And normally when I do weddings, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the signal out of one of my Evolve 50s, the direct out, and send that in the transmitter, and then send that to the wireless receivers. But just for today, for testing purposes, we're gonna do it this way. So I have a song loaded up here that I'm gonna play. All right, so we're now transmitting that signal. So now I have another speaker set up outside in my backyard on the other side of my pool. So let's go out there. I'm gonna take this wireless receiver with me. So you guys come with me. And we're gonna go to that speaker and we are going to connect it. Okay, we're going through the garage. And going outside. Okay, so now we're outside. Now we're walking to the backyard. There's a swimming pool. We're going to come all the way out here. On the back side of the swimming pool. And there you see I have another speaker set up. Right here. That's about how far we are away from the house. I'll say that's a good 75 feet away from the house. Remember the controller is inside the house playing music. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna connect this wireless receiver to the speaker. All right, it's kind of hard doing this with one hand, but I'm just going to connect XLR right in there. And then connect the other end down in here. Okay, I got it connected. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the receiver on and turn it up about a little halfway, a little bit more. So now the receiver is on. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the power on on the speaker. Okay, and now we're going to slowly bring up the volume on the speaker.
And there you have it. That's the same song that you were listening to inside. It's now transmitting wirelessly. Perfect clear sound. I mean, perfect clear sound, really, it sounds amazing. Just walking away from it. And like I said, I'll sit a speaker like that in the back of a ballroom to fill in the sound so that the people in the back and toward the middle of the room can hear and I won't have to turn the main dance floor speakers up. And you can turn it up even louder if you want. I just turned it up a little bit turn it up a little bit more I don't want to disturb my neighbors too much that's really loud super loud <laughs> you see that one speaker in the back of a ballroom it'll just help to fill out that dance not the dance floor but the entire room I think I'm a good 100 feet away from it now and I can still hear that speaker very well. So imagine that plus the dance floor. Clear, no dropouts. Working flawlessly. There it is. I just got it dangling for now till I come up with a better solution. But right now, this works. Works great. Okay, so I had a good friend of mine. He asked me a good question. He said, could I tell any delay in signal from the wired speakers to the wireless speaker? Like, you know, was there any type of millisecond delay or whatever? I personally don't hear it at all. And so I'm going to show you exactly what I hear. So I'm going to turn these main speakers on right here. Okay, so that's my main speakers. Now, over here in the corner, I got the uh, Behringer B210D, and I got it connected wirelessly with my little wireless receiver. So let's turn up the sound and see if we hear any delay. Go in the back. Turn the sound up. There we go. So now we got sound from there and from these speakers. I hear no delay at all. Everything sounds perfect. I'm hearing sound from all three speakers. They're in perfect sync, no delay. So there you have it, guys. That's my wireless speaker solution right there. I'm going to use this in May. I have a couple of weddings coming up in some big ballrooms. And that's when I get to do it on a live real gig. So far, I'm very happy and I'm looking forward to using it on a real gig. 
Another thing you can do is you can order power supply adapters for the receivers. That way you don't have to use batteries. They take two AA batteries at the moment, but if you get the, the power adapters, you can connect them to electricity and then you don't have to worry about battery life whatsoever. All right, you guys, so that concludes my review of the Sennheiser G4 wireless twin monitoring set. I got the name correct. Also, please subscribe if you want to see more videos related to DJ stuff. I'm always uploading videos. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace!